Hi guys, today I have an absolutely creamy, super delicious and nutritious avocado tuna salad recipe to share with you. So let's dive right into it. First, you're going to want to half and pit an avocado. Then you're going to peel it. I recommend choosing a very uh, ripe avocado for this recipe. So the salad becomes very, very nice and creamy. So once you've peeled your avocado, you're going to dice it into about one inch cubes and then you're adding those into a large mixing bowl. To that same mixing bowl you add two cans of drained tuna. I prefer tuna that has been stored in water as opposed to oil because I prefer to add my own oils in the dressing later on. Next up we use a red bell pepper for three reasons. Uh, color, crunch and sweetness. Cut it very, very small so you get the sweetness and the crunch in every single bite. Add the finely diced bell pepper to your bowl. Then we're going back to the chopping board and chopping up lots and lots of parsley. Parsley is what makes this recipe super summery, fresh and absolutely delicious. Make sure you chop it up really, really, really finely so you get it into every single bite. The red onion in this recipe isn't a must, but I love the oniony spiciness for this salad. If the spiciness of a red onion is too strong for you, I recommend just soaking it in cold water for about an hour, draining it and adding it to the salad then, because it removes a little bit of the spiciness but leaves the crunch, the flavor and the color, of course. Now it's time to prepare the delicious dressing. For that, you're going to want to choose a sealable container that you can close airtight and shake later on. So first we're adding one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Then we're adding the juice of a whole lemon for two reasons. Number one, to give it this amazing summery flavor. And number two, to keep the avocado from browning. Next, you're going to want to add about a quarter cup of very high quality olive oil and finish it off with uh, adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. You can always add some more later on in the process. Now it's time to seal your container and shake it really well until the whole dressing is all very well combined. Add the dressing to your salad ingredients in the big bowl and toss it well. At this point, some pieces of avocado will become really nice and creamy because we chose a very ripe avocado. If you chose a less ripe avocado, the dice will stay complete. But in my case, I chose a very ripe avocado, so I get a very, very creamy texture for the salad. And that's it. 10 minutes of work and you have a delicious avocado tuna salad for your next potluck or just an easy, quick dinner recipe for one of those busy nights. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this recipe, if you liked it, if there's anything you would leave out or you would add in. If you enjoyed this recipe, I recommend you try out my avocado chicken salad. And for more quick and easy recipes like this one, subscribe to my channel. Bye, see you next time.